Good day, folks. Welcome to Mr. Buzz's Soul Clinic. I am Mr. Buzz. And I'm going to talk about Maui again. I did a few videos on this in the past, and I told the story um, of when I watched the horrible destruction that, well, the attack that Maui suffered. A town called Lahaina was attacked with directed energy weapons. There's no question about it. I don't care what anyone says. The evidence is, there's a mountain of evidence that that's what it was. Anyone who thinks that's a crazy conspiracy theory and all this stuff, you, you really just haven't looked at it. Just the blue things that didn't burn, I, I mean, alone is enough. I'll, and I'll get to what that means, because I'm sorry, I'm jumping ahead here. So, I guess it was, it's not quite a year ago, I don't think. Um, little town called Lahaina in Maui. There was a fire. Well, there was a couple smaller fires, actually, earlier in the day. And the fire department put them out, or thought they put them out, apparently. And then there was downed power lines because um, high winds, very unusually high winds, ridiculously high winds, actually, which was also manufactured. But these fires that they thought they put out, I guess they started up again because they didn't really put them out. And that got things going. And then... Because of the down power lines, they blocked off roads, so you couldn't get out of Lahaina at all. And school was canceled, which is also a very interesting part of this story. School was canceled that day, so all the kids were home. And the fire got really wild and out of control, which, you know, um, there's a whole lot of reasons why it burns so rapidly. They call them wildfires, right? Well, the areas where the wildfires happen are prepared carefully, so they'll burn that way. Wildfires are wildfires because evil people are evil people. That's why. And they're almost always set. Wildfires aren't a natural occurrence at all. They're set. This one definitely was. This one definitely was. So it gets way worse. It gets way, way worse. The fire is like taking over the whole town. I mean, it's burning the whole town to the ground. Everything. It's burning everything to ashes. And not only that, I, I'm here, as it was happening, I was watching, because it was live streams. People were diving into the water to save themselves. It was absolutely brutal, unbelievable, unbelievable. People had to cower in the water, putting their head under the water when the flames, because it was directed energy weapons. It wasn't, it was a fire, but it was a fire... I, well, I believe it was started with directed energy weapons, actually. But d directed energy weapons were used all the way through it. It's, it was just brutal. And the people that lived through it, some people did, they said there was something surreal about it. There was something, like they were looking up and just, like, there was something not right about it. It's because of the directed energy weapons, the weapon system that was being used on them. So, the town burns to the ground. Here's some really weird stuff that is found the next day. Well, oh, no, I get the cops. Um, the cops blocked off all the roads and trapped all the people in the town, knowing that the fire was, 
watched, I mean, I watched this live. I watched this live. People were live streaming it. People were in their cars. The cops got the road blocked off and they're like, the, the fire's behind us. You want to get out of the way? They trapped those people in there. And they all burned to death. They trapped a whole bunch of them in there. And they, now here's the thing. When you find them after the fire's over, none of the car doors are open at all. Everybody is sitting in position, just sitting in their seats completely. And it's weird when you kill somebody with directed energy weapons like that, the remains are very strange. They're still, they're intact, but they're, it's like they're petrified. It's really bizarre what happens to a, to a body when you hit it with a directed energy weapon. So nobody even tried to get out of their cars. Think about that. You think if the fire is raging or, and it's coming at you, you're just going to sit in the car and just until you burn to death. Mm -mm. You're going to try to get out of that car. You're going to open the doors. None of the car doors were open. None of them. Okay. And blue cars, which I don't know if there's people in them or not, I think there might have been in some of them, but blue cars were fine. Didn't burn. Blue stuff didn't burn. There's a certain shade of blue that the lasers, because that's what they are, they're lasers, directed energy weapons. Certain type of blue that is the same color as the laser. And if it's the same color as the laser, it won't, it, it cancels it out. It doesn't work. So if you want to be protected, you have to have this certain blue all over you. And then this weapon will go right over you and you'll be fine. It won't even touch you. And this can be easily proven. Let's just look online for directed energy weapons. And the, um, the test that was done... It's on YouTube. I've seen it several times. Um, they have red, blue, and I forget what the other color is. It's three different colors. And the laser, when it hits the red, just burns through it. Hits the other color, burns through it. But when it hits the blue, it just skips right over it. it. Doesn't even touch it. So the cops trapped them all in there. That Here's the thing. The cops... Some of them were just following orders, but the police chief himself, well, he's the one that organizes whole, when he didn't organize the whole thing, he's in on us. He's totally in on us. He's the same police chief. His name is Pelletier, Chief Pelletier, that's it. And he was the same police chief in the uh, big Las Vegas mass shooting. Remember the big debacle, the investigation was just horrible. And everything was pathetic and obviously corrupt. He was the police chief when that happened. Now he's the police chief when the whole town burns down. And he's the coroner, which is actually illegal. He's not supposed to be the coroner and the police chief, but he is. And there's a reason for that too, obviously. Because he just killed a whole town full of people. I mean, this story is brutal and nasty and the sickest thing I've ever seen in my life. Okay. The uh, governor, Governor Green, I think his name is, yeah. WEF. WEF. One of the members. One of them. Then there's this fire chief okay get this not only did they trap people in town so they'd burn to death block all the roads and I mean they really did I, I watch it live that is true that is absolutely true the fire chief who was supposed to they have this big alarm system biggest alarm system I think in the world actually because there's tsunamis can come in uh, it, I mean 
fires can happen i mean anywhere it's like it's it's a place where they expect natural disasters to it may take place or an attack it's a, a place of um concern that way another foreign enemy could um attack maui very it's very likely so they have this warning system that i mean it's the best i think it's the best in the world really advanced they didn't use it there's a fire and they didn't use it and when the the fire chief was asked if he regretted not sounding the alarm so people could he goes oh no no he said i think if we we did the right thing not using it cuz if we would have used it people would have thought it was a tsunami and they would have ran up to get away from the tsunami but that would have been bad cuz they would have ran right into the fire <laughs> dude like he had to he had to resign and everything he that one comment like that was the stupidest thing i ever heard in my life so he had to resign oh and they turned the water off this said you know it was a planned attack they literally turned the water off so the firefighters had no water to fight this fire they turned it off i mean it was so blatantly obvious what they did it was unbelievable unbelievable and there's a lot more to it i mean there's, there's a ton of stuff but oh, the blue umbrellas were the a drone went over i think like the next day after the fire was out two blue umbrellas everything burned to ashes all around it two blue umbrellas like it umbrellas from a bar or something they were on on the patio of a bar intact not even one bit damaged two blue umbrellas that color blue i'm talking about and then there's a blue car over there not burnt then there's a blue roof on that house so that one's okay anything blue was totally fine i swear i swear so then of course to, to cover up what they did they put up a big fence all the way around it make it illegal to even take pictures they start patrolling it you're not allowed to take photos no drones no fly zone the whole bit go in and clean up their shit that they they know is evidence against them unbelievable absolutely unbelievable and what the whole thing is those people they killed have ancestral rights to the land that means as long as somebody in that family's alive you can't get that land ancestral rights it's in your family it's in your it's just your land <laughs> that's it that's it nobody can take it so well unless they're dead so that's what it's all about these people had no other way to steal Maui, to steal this town, Lahaina, other than burn it down and kill most of the people. Oh, and the children, there's, well, they've claimed there's like 91 people died. The residents there, they say it's more like 12 to 1500. But the government claims it's less than 100 people. Now that's pretty interesting, isn't it? And there's apparently a bunch of kids missing, but that's a that's a big mystery no no one knows what's going on with that but what generally happens in like it's, it's happened in haiti there'll be a natural disaster and there's a team sent in to grab as many kids as they can and kidnap them so people speculate that may have happened and i actually believe it did and the evidence is they found nine school buses the nine school buses that were used for that area at an airport we, I think two days later somebody from Google Earth I think is how they found it nine school buses at the airport nearby which was not normal whatsoever for them to be there so some really shady stuff went on a lot of people were murdered it's the most it changed me i watched it live and every day after that for like three weeks like just the aftermath and everything was like it was 
Nothing ever sickened me to the point that that did, the Maui fire. It is by far the worst thing I have ever even heard of. It's so bad and it's already forgotten. That's why I'm doing this video because I don't want this to be forgotten. It's the most horrible thing. Oh, and they did the same thing in Paradise, California a few years before. The same thing to take the land. Then they actually they did it in British Columbia as well. Not to this extent. Maui got it the worst. Maui got it the worst. Whoa, did they ever. Did they ever. So, pray for the people of Maui. They're still having a battle to try to, you know, to try to um, house themselves still. Some of them are still homeless. So, and the survivors, I mean, and they've all lost somebody. They've all lost lots of people. Like the whole town, most of them died. Horrible, horrible thing. So prayers for the people of Maui. Thanks for watching. God bless you all.